Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's video is going to be so much fun. This is one of my favorite projects for all of this year's Daily December, and I think you're going to like it. What I have here is actually the single sheet cardstock, single sheet of cardstock exploding box. And what's inside is what we're going to make today. So this is yesterday's video. I'll put a link below to check it out if you're interested. But for today's video, I'll just take the lid off and you can see that inside this exploding box we've got something really, really special. It's very lightweight because it is made out of a single sheet of paper and it is a Kirigami Christmas tree. Now what Kirigami is? Now origami is folded paper, right? So you can actually use glue and scissors in your origami. It still counts. There is a pure form of origami that was developed, I believe it was in the 50s, where they said, okay, no scissors, no glue. It's just a square sheet of paper and that's all you're allowed to use. However, that is not the traditional uh, use for origami. You can certainly say that pure origami is what you prefer. That's perfectly fine. But origami in general is just folded paper and again you can use glue, scissors, anything to embellish it if you want to. And in this case we are going to use a pair of scissors to snip into the sides of this once we folded it and fold them over and make it really 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 delicate um, branches. And the fancy name for this is called kirigami and that basically means that we use cutting to enhance the model and uh, put in some of the decorations. Okay, let's make a little Christmas tree, shall we? With the right side of your paper facing up, you're going to go corner to corner and crease. Then you're going to open it up and go opposite corner to opposite corner and crease. We're now going to open it up again and you'll notice that you've got an X folded into your paper. And now we are going to put the right side facing down and we're going to fold edge into edge. Open it up and fold the other edge into its opposite edge. So now we've got an X and a plus sign in the paper. And again, the correct side of the paper is going to be facing down at this stage. So if you're using two colored paper, the side you want on the outside to be your Christmas tree or your pine tree shape is going to be on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to take my two corners and I'm going to push them towards each other. And when I do, you'll if you've done origami with me before, this will look very familiar. We have quite a few models that start like this you'll have a little gap here and a little gap here. And what we want to do is just close the gaps by pressing on the outside. So I'm holding in the middle and you just press on the outside and the whole thing will collapse into a smaller square. So the shape of this is, if you were looking at it from the top, you, it looks a bit like this, so like a plus sign. If you look at it from the bottom, it's open. Now we just need a few more folds and we're nearly finished, believe it or not. This is quite a straightforward model. Now that open side that we just talked about is going to face away from you and the closed side is going to face you and that way you'll get the correct crease in place. So open side facing away, closed side facing towards you. Using that point that's facing towards you, you're going to take the top flap and take the outside edge of that on the bottom, bring it into that center crease, and put in a new crease. So it's starting to look a little bit like a kite on the top. Just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just the top flap, leave the bottom one um, for a moment. Just take the top flap, use that bottom left hand edge, and bring it into the center. And as with any origami stuff, if you're totally new at this and need to see it again, that pause button is your friend and you can fast forward, rewind, whatever you need to do very, very easily. And it's, again, it's free. So go for it. Okay, now we're going to take our paper and turn it over. And we have a bottom right hand edge and the bottom left hand edge. We're going to bring them both up into that middle section and crease. 
not overlapping, just right on the crease. And once again, there you go, and now it's kite shaped. Now here comes the tricky part. What we need to do is actually turn all of these folds inside out. But I'll walk you step by step, it's going to be okay. <laughs> so let's open up this first flap here. So we've got that crease. This crease that you've just created is actually very, very important. So we're gonna hold on to all the other pieces so it doesn't come all unfolded. And we're gonna open up that little gap there. So you can see down inside there, and it's all closed on that end. I'm going to press the paper down. So I've opened it up, I'm gonna press it down so that this crease, this outside crease, is going to line up with that center area. And then I'm going to fold down. So to put this into perspective, a minute ago I said that this crease is really important. Remember, the one that we folded in here? That's because when we push this in, that crease is going to come up over the top. And the more you do it, it will actually fall into place. So let's do it on the other side because it's going to be a little bit backwards. I'm going to unfold that and now I've got that top flap. So we're not touching anything that's behind, just the top one. Open up that gap and using that edge that's right in the middle, and you'll notice you've got a crease here, a crease in the middle, and a crease on the outside. You're going to use the crease in the middle, press it straight down to line up with that center, and fold the tab over. So now instead of two top flaps, you've actually got four top flaps. And we're going to turn it over, keep moving the pieces until you get to the point where you fold it in to make the kite shape. Do you remember that? All right. We're going to open it up again, and it's the exact same thing you did on the other side. Open it up, flatten it down using that middle one, go right into the center, and fold it over. And same thing on this side, so again, top flap, open it up, look down inside, use that center piece to flatten it, and you may need to create new creases there. It's the same crease, but you're just having to recreate it so it's facing the other direction. And there you go. So now there are four flaps on this side. So you actually have a total of eight flaps at this stage. And if you look down the top, you can see that it is that Christmas tree shape. Now all we need to do is trim the bottom off. So I like to cut straight across, but if you are attaching this inside that explosion box, you may want to leave a couple of tabs on the bottom so that you can glue it on. It's totally up to you. You can decide as you go. I'm going to trim them all off just for uh, the purposes of the video, but if you don't want to trim all the tabs off so you can glue them, that's fine. So I'm going to cut straight across from one corner to the opposite corner. So the big long part that looks just like a Christmas tree, we're going to keep that. We're just trimming off the excess off the bottom. Use a nice pair of sharp scissors. You're going through a lot of layers there. And discard the extra pieces. So there you go. If you like it like this, you are more than welcome to just leave it like this and use that as a display for little Christmas trees. You could put a little adhesive in the middle to get it to stick together if you want to. It's totally up to you. I'm going to do a little bit of kirigami, however. And here's how it's going to work. You're going to look at that center crease in the middle and you're going to cut in a little ways from the bottom depends on how big your paper is cut in a little ways from the bottom and then go in about oh, I'd say two-thirds of the way to the center and you're going to do that two or well I'd say two at least three times if you're using bigger paper, you may be able to get a fourth time out, but we'll go with we'll go with three. So a two thirds or a little bit more into the center. And then the same thing on the other side. Now keep those scissors handy because you're going through so many layers. You may find that different ones are not qu cut quite enough. That's okay. Just uh, go back and trim in a little bit more. So we're going to start with the top layer and 
just fold that little tab that you've made down. And you can do it whatever shape you want. You're making a little branch here. See? And we're going to do that with the next one down. Make whatever patterns you like, whatever you like the shape of, and so on. And then you're going to go to the next one and do the same thing. Fold them down and go all the way around. I'm not going to bore you, so I'll go do that and I'll come right back and show you what the finished piece looks like. There you go, one little origami Christmas tree or kirigami Christmas tree that will be perfect for all kinds of different projects this holiday season. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you give it a try. And I hope we see you back here tomorrow for another daily December video from Origami Twist. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.